Good morning everyone. So today is going to be a very long busy day on our farm so we wanted to take you along and show you guys what we're doing. So today is chicken processing day so we've been showing you guys some videos about how to raise Cornish Cross chickens for meat and so this is that final video just showing you the process of uh, processing them. So here in North Carolina uh, we have a small farm exemption so that we can process the chickens ourselves. And so um, we're going to show you our setup and just some general basics. Um, we're not going to be showing you anything gory because I know uh, some of you guys <laughs> don't want to see that. Um, so yeah. So the meat birds are back there. So this is our setup area. So Jeremiah has brought them in here as like a holding area. And so then we have the killing cones. Um, and then there's the scalder and the plucker. We have these tables for the gutting process and then we've got these coolers filled with ice water and this trash can as well to serve as a little holding area and so yep that's our setup so we'll show you a little bit of the process and we understand that not all people are going to agree with us um, but we know that god has commanded us to have dominion over the animals and so that's our goal on our farm to raise our animals in the best possible way and um, to you know provide people with healthy locally raised meat because uh, a lot of people are wanting that so we are making some good progress we have my sister say hello hi and her husband daniel <laughs> helping us and that <laughs> yeah this was their christmas present to us helping uh this white cooler is full and we're working on filling up this one. Alright, so this is the scalder and you want this set between about 145 and 150 degrees. Um, you don't want it too hot or it'll make the skin tear. Um, so what I do is just dip the chickens. We do two at a time. We just kind of twirl them around so that the warm water can get in between all the feathers. Every now and then I just will check to see if it's ready by pulling the wing feathers. Those came out, but it was a little bit of a pull. Uh, so I'm gonna do it a little bit longer until it's a little bit easier with the feathers coming out. You want it to be at least about 45 to 60 seconds. But again, this is this is a good test. I turn on the plucker and then you've got to run water, sorry, you've got to run water in it while it's going. off any this yellow skin and then we're ready for the next phase all right so next thing um, is you want to cut off the feet you do that right at this joint and then they get passed on to either Daniel or Jeremiah gutting them First, start with the head. I usually just grab it, pull it right off, and then take and cut the skin off. You want to be real careful because they got their crop right there. It's where they when they eat their feed or grass, it goes in there. It's kind of like their stomach. And then I just kind of cut all the way around and be real careful with that. And I just take the skin, pull it all off. Next, go right here, just make one little cut. Reach in, pull it open. Then you want to reach in there with your hand and kind of break free any connective tissue. 
then you can pull everything out pretty much with just one shot. So we're saving the hearts. There's a little membrane on them that you want to make sure you pull off. So there's the heart. And then we got the liver here. And you don't want to pop that because it's full of bile and it'll mess. You don't want that on your meat. So I just grab it, pull it off. There's your liver. Grab, just pull everything out of their crop that's up here. And it's a windpipe. When you get the lungs out, I just take my fingers and just kind of scrape along the rib cage. There's one lung. other one and finish it off the gutting I just take a cut straight down and cut around and back up and that's it for that and then for the neck let me grab the shears up Take these shears here, just cut it back as far as I can, pop it right on. So that's it. So once they're done with the gutting, we'll rinse them out really good. water they go. Alright so we ran out of room in our coolers and everything so we went ahead and started bagging. Um, so what you do is you just take it out of the cold water, we pat it dry and then we put it in these bags with a neck bone because a lot of people like to make chicken broth. So then we take this straw, put it in the cavity, try to get out as much air as possible. Give it a good twist and get zip tie. Straighten it up. And then this water is supposed to be between 180 and 195 degrees. And I just use this wooden spoon to help push it down. One, two, three, four, five, and it's done. So it's wait about 10 seconds. I usually just try to squeeze out any more air. And then you pull the straw out and tighten up your zip tie. Okay, so now that it's been sealed, so we just kind of dry off the bag, cut the zip tie, Cut the extra plastic and then we weigh the chicken and put our label on there. All right, so we did end up finishing all of the chickens. Um, it was close to 150, um, probably about 145 ish or so. Um, so this was the biggest work day on our farm for sure. Uh, it was a lot of work and we're very tired. Um, we will definitely sleep good tonight. Uh, but it took us about 12 hours. Now the fun part, cleaning up. So all the chickens are in the freezer. We had to actually turn on another freezer because we ran out of room or we were running out of room. Um, and so we anticipated that. Uh, my mom had to bring us some more ice because we ran out of ice. Um, so we are very, very thankful for all the help that we had today. There's no way we would have been able to do it without uh, family. And so that is one benefit of living close to family. 
Um, but we wish we would have been able to record a little bit more throughout the day. But again, we were just so busy and just so ready to be done, especially by about four o'clock. We were like, okay, how many more are left? Um, we are excited about offering pasture raised chicken on our farm again, because we have been out for a little while. Yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned for future videos. Please subscribe and we'll see you next time.